Powder metallurgy, or PM, are the arts of producing metal powders and the utilization of metal powders for the production of massive materials and shaped objects. We look at the history of powder metallurgy and we see in 3000 BC the Hittites were using sintered iron. 400, the India Delhi iron column was manufactured. In the 1400s, the Incas produced gold and platinum jewelry using powder metallurgy processes. In 1805, the English used sintered platinum. In the 1880s, in the U.S., we were using sintered iron. In 1910, Coolidge and Edison invented tungsten filament lamps. In the 1930s, carbides, porous bronze, and steel were being used. In the 1960s, structural PM was introduced to the automotive industry. In the 1980s, we engaged in microstructural engineering of powdered metal. In the 1990s, metal injection molding and insulated powder came into being. In 2000, metal additive manufacturing started its growth. So one of the questions we ask is why PM? We look at the economic value, cost, precision, productivity, the captive nature of the material, refractory, reactive materials, and we look at unique properties, alloys, compounds, microstructures, composites, and geometry. You can see that the intersection of the economic, captive, and unique geometry is the ideal application. Components that fall into this area are definitely great candidates for powder metallurgy. One of the ideal applications for powder metallurgy is a porous capacitor. They use billions per day in the electronics industry. So we ask the question, why PM? It's the unique shape capability and a host of properties that provide users with creative solutions. Powder metallurgy is a very material efficient process with low process waste, alloys, materials, geometry that are not feasible with other processes, close tolerance capability, highly repeatable processes from part to part and lot to lot. Powder metallurgy provides excellent bearing qualities, very good surface finish, exceptional wear and strength, true involute forms on gears and splines, controlled porosity, oil and resin impregnation, infiltration with copper, soft magnetic properties, and hard magnetic properties are all achieved with powder metallurgy. PM enjoys a competitive advantage over other manufacturing technologies when the following conditions prevail. One, the shape capability of PM offers economic and or specific engineering advantages. Two, when the properties are satisfactory or so unique, other technologies are not acceptable options. In this graph, we have technology comparisons. Across the bottom, we see part complexity from low to high and we see yearly quantities on the Y scale. In the bottom left, we have HIP and SIP, uh, and you can see that they're low part complexity and typically lower volume. And above that, we see the in blue, the powder metallurgy, conventional powder metallurgy, and medium part complexity and very, very high volume. And in the top right corner, we see MIM, or metal injection molding, where we have very high volumes and very high part complexity. In the bottom right, we have metal additive manufacturing. And as you can see, we have high part complexity to low part complexity, but with lower annual volumes. And then they, these technologies overlay technologies such as investment casting and machining. The powder metallurgy industry is made up of firms doing business that range in size and structure from small privately owned firms to large public and private corporations. Powder metallurgy is used in a wide range of applications from instrument gears to automotive connecting rods, firearms, jewelry, and machine tool parts, cutting tools. The automotive industry is a large market for conventional powder metallurgy. Approximately 75% of ferrous PM is consumed by the automotive markets. The current North American PM content per vehicle is approximately 40 to 45 pounds. The Asian and European vehicles use about half 
of what North America uses. However, the PM uh, is increasing in the Asian and European markets. In powder metallurgy, common processes are conventional, press and center PM, They're typically used by the auto industry, uh, outdoor power equipment, recreation products, agricultural and construction, hydraulics, electronic machines, and applications and appliances, both MIM and conventional powder metallurgy. The metal injection molding is typically used in medical devices and firearms. Hot isostatic pressing or HIP is used in production of tool steels, refractory metals, and metal injection or MIM components. Cold isostatic pressing is used to produce stainless steel and aluminum components. Metal additive manufacturing is used by the aerospace, defense, medical and dental industries, the medical devices market, motorsports, oil, and gas. We have powder production methods, starting with atomization. We have water, gas, centrifugal, and plasma atomization, mechanical, milling, machining, and grinding. We have chemical production, precipitation, reduction, reaction, or vapor, and electrolytic deposition. From there, we have the shaping and forming of those metal powders. Injection molding, dye compaction, cold isostatic pressing, hot isostatic pressing, slip and tape casting, rolling, extrusion, and metal additive manufacturing. After shaping and forming, properties and finished feature development are developed. Sintering is the forming of strong metallurgical bonds in the shaped PM components. Heat treatment, secondary operations such as various machining, deburring, grinding, sealing, and plating operations as well as others are performed. The industry supply chain are made up of powder producers, part fabricators, PM related machine tool manufacturers, engineering and consulting, tool making, marketing and sales, research, and end users of PM components. Powder metallurgy is a value-added engineering solution and a global commercial business. Engineers use PM parts in aerospace, industrial, defense, automotive, truck, medical applications, and other areas of your day-to-day -day life.